It's all right, buddy. Hi, we're <laughs> back with our friends, Amazon John, Maricat Mel from Silly Hello. Safaris, and they brought this little guy with them. Can you please introduce us? It's a Kinkajou, K-I-N-K-A-J-O-U. Kinkajou. Not a Pikachu. Not a Pikachu. I, I, Not a different, yeah, you don't want to catch this thing in a game, believe me. You, oh, yeah. I've never you heard catch of this creature. No, what, what it's it? amazing. It's in the raccoon family, okay. which is the group that scientists put things in that they don't know what to do with. Really? You know, a red panda is a raccoon, right? Really? Yeah, so when scientists are like, I got nothing, stick it in the raccoon group, we'll okay. deal with it later. Yeah. So that's what they do. So yeah, oh, and you have to feed him. Yes, he loves sweet like stuff. So treats. what is yeah, the name I, of this When Kikachu? we saw Kylie's apple butter muffin, we yeah. had to see if he wants one so of those. He likes Rice Krispie Treats. Rice Krispie Treats. In Spanish, so also means bear. Ito means small. Him, Little bear. Little, little bear. Hand it right mm -hmm. over to him. He's a, yeah. Hand it? Yeah. Okay. He's a honey bear. Buddy? Oh, oh, yeah. oh wow, yeah. <laughs> Boy, he went after that. That's what most people do with Kylie's food. Give me the yeah. Rice Krispie Treat. Right. Yes. Well, before this, I was like, does he have a muffin? Oh, I'd, love yes. to, I'd love to feed him. Do <laughs> I give him Kylie's muffins. Yeah. Do I give him this entire muffin? I would because it's fun and it's TV. Okay, all right. I'm going to shove that muffin. Okay, he's just, he's kind of polishing off the, now I was, I was chomped on by a horse earlier this week. You've got a little bite I got Where's your scar? Well, it was just on the, the guitar playing finger, but I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> You uh, can still play yeah. guitar. Okay, all right, Osito, here we go, man. Hi, Osito. Oh, oh, yeah. Look at that right. muffin. That's what we all do. It's like, yeah, give me that. When Kylie's kitchen. May, may I pet him? Absolutely, okay. especially while his teeth and his okay. hands are busy. Okay. You know, it's a good time. <laughs> That's Soft. what we do. So, so, the thing with Ginkajus is they become very much like one people animals, right? Like you, you get a puppy every, your whole family loves your dog, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, Osito here hates my guts, but adores Meerkat Mel, really? and everybody who meets her adores Meerkat Mel. Why do you Cat think Mel? that is? <laughs> well, look at yeah. her, she's amazing. Okay. She, oh, well, wait, I you're agree. talking about yeah. the, I was talking about oh, Meerkat Mel. Um, everybody <laughs> loves her, and everybody loves the Kinkajou too, so we take wow. them to parties, but I can't take this guy to a party, and I finished bottle raising them. That's the thing, really? when it comes to certain animals, you just, they, they have their own personalities. They, yes. they choose. You know what? You, they, they, they grow up and they leave the nest. Right. Yeah. That's not exactly. delicious. Are you going to share with and, everyone and else? And you just deal with it. But Man, when you mentioned parties. Um, you guys are hopping. I mean, you're you're everywhere. We're 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 we're, we're trying. It's it's back to school season, yep. and of course it'll be reindeer season around the corner. So oh, yeah. How yeah. is Elsa doing? Uh, Elsa's fantastic. Okay, good. She's doing great. She was with child she, last. She time. hasn't rubbed out her velvet yet, her antlers. But yeah, she, she did she have gave a baby girl. Congrats. Her name is Tiana. Tiana. Okay. Princess Tiana. Yeah. Princess Tiana. Mm -hmm. She has a little T in her pattern on her leg, so we said it had to be a princess name with a T. <laughs> right? I love yeah. that. Now you were talking about his tail, if you wanted to see the oh tail in gosh. action. Yeah. yeah. So is it, it's okay to tell. It is a prehensile tail, but he can actually use it like a cramp like arm. Yeah, like a slap bracelet. Jill, you, know? you got to put this okay, on. Okay, I like put that fashion. Oh, wow. It's eco-friendly accessories. It's eco-friendly. It like curls around. Yeah. It also makes her a really cool mustache. Now he is, um... That's not HR approved. Yeah, yeah, he's not really good That's, on boundaries. OSHA has a big problem yeah. with he's this. Just, he does not have good boundaries. He looks so cozy in there. He not just, that we need to get fresh, but if you want to just point that out, he'll uh, He just went in there, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he yeah. does, yeah. He just went yeah. right hey, man, in. Uh, you don't really have me. Here's, here's an apple, apple muffin. I promise Ryan's out looking down my shirt. Um, yeah, they, they have Mel's he, microphone he just took right it. here. I'm just going to put this right over here. He just took that to bed, yeah. It's one of the weirdest animal spots we've done, and we've done a few. He just kind of stuck his eyes like, yeah, give me the apple muffin. Yeah. I find lots of food in my bra wild. when yeah. I get home from work. Oh, you know, they're, they're not yeah. they're crazy, they love food. I mean, come on, yeah, that sounds like me or your teenager. <laughs> I was about to you say me that. too, but not, not for the same reason. Right. I'm just messy. <laughs> now, if people want to book you guys for a program or something coming up, can you tell us Yeah, how we well, can of do course, that? they're going to go to Indy Now's website, but then they can look up the OsillySpars.com and uh, Facebook. And, yeah, follow yeah. us on TikTok. Always yeah, fun. Yeah, TikTok Absolutely. where you can see all of the enrichment and, and different videos this with Elsa. Loves toys. Yeah. And Osito did a great job today. Guys, thank yes. you for being here. Thank Give him a follow you. on social media at Silly Safaris on Instagram. <laughs> Book him for a party. Maybe you got a birthday party coming up, corporate event, all kinds of cool stuff. Guys, thank you so thank much. You thank so you. Good job, Osito. Thanks for bringing Osito. Yeah. What a little sweetheart. He can be. He, he wants the bigger. Oh, yeah. he's, yeah. Like, yeah. he's like, don't give me this little piece yeah. here. If you guys want to book him, all the information right there on the screen. Thank you so cool. much. Coming up next, we're going to ask the owners of Pedigo Indy why they left their full-time lifelong careers to bring their passion for electric bicycles to Hoosiers of all abilities. That's right. But first, it's time for Fashion Friday with our friend Brandy Price. Take a look. We are back with our friend and Indy Now fashion contributor, Brandy Price. She's sharing her celebrity styling secrets for building the perfect fall capsule wardrobe for the season of life that you're in. But first, it's Fashion Friday. Brandy, what are you wearing? 
I am wearing a darling dress and some Veronica Beard shoes Ooh. and a Gigi Pip hat. And today. the hat. Love yeah. it. Gigi Pip. That's yeah. Fun. What are you guys wearing? Like amazing. Oh, you know. I'm wearing some discount outfit right yeah, now. Yeah, there you I go, girl. I got this on sale. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't even tell you. Well, Hodge it looks Hodge. fabulous. Yeah, it does look great. <laughs> Let's dive right in. So the clothes are amazing. Uh, a lot of this yes. is the darling brand. Um, capsule wardrobing, you've, you've taught us about this. It's really yes. become the talk of the past few seasons. So right. what is a capsule wardrobe and how can we get one started? Right. A capsule wardrobe just means a minimum wardrobe and it's geared towards the the lifestyle that you are living currently in this season and I'm not talking about like fall spring season it's a season of life yeah Ooh, so it's yeah. a little bit different than just thinking okay well I'm gonna go ahead and just buy 30 new pieces because it's fall it's what season of life are you in like do you have kids um, are you working a lot what, what are the activities that you're doing on a daily basis okay and that's one yeah. of the ways that you really want to start forming that out is what do I what do I actually need in this season versus what do I have? Mm. I love that. That is good. Once you've defined that, what would you say then is the next step in creating that wardrobe? The next step really is, is being okay that you are in a different season of life. And what you would want to do first is make a list of all the activities that you do on a daily basis, a weekly basis, and then your next step really is going to be putting that together with what outfits you would ideally want to wear okay. for each of those scenarios. And that's really going to be the basis of what you're looking for so you know what your lifestyle is. It's also really important to know that capsule wardrobes are meant for a season. It's a seasonal commitment. It's not a lifetime sit sentence. Hmm. So a lot of times people think, once I put this together, these are, this is all I'm going to have the rest of my life. I'm just going to have all of the basics and I'm going to be happy. No, That's no, no. That's not, it's, it, it, your, your season yeah. of life and your functionality will change as should your clothing. Yeah. That, that makes it feel more manageable. So, so much yes. more manageable. <laughs> you yes. have such a great experience when we learn about some of the celebrities you've styled and the ways yeah. you've helped them travel. And so you've got some great examples here yeah, too. Yeah, what did you bring with you? Yeah. Right, so I have the, the Darling Fall capsule. This is a 20 piece capsule. Of course, they have different color variations. These are the colors that I chose for, for different purposes for the functionality in my life. But for putting together, your wardrobe so that you don't get bored, right? We don't want to get bored with what we're wearing yeah. when we're locked down into 20 pieces, 30 pieces, even 50 pieces. Sometimes it's like we go from a hundred and some odd to like a small amount where we feel like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to have anything to wear. The biggest thing that you want to do is make sure that you have pieces, of course, that fit your functionality that you feel like a million bucks in, but also you want to make sure that you're not picking the same silhouette. So these are similar colors, but you're picking a different silhouette of top. Oh, okay. I see what and you're so saying. each of these tops have a different silhouette mm -hmm. and therefore have a different functionality depending upon oh, are you running errands with the kids? Are you picking up groceries? Are you are you going to a PTO meeting? Are you at work? Yeah. What is it you're actually doing? And then the same thing with sweaters, different silhouettes. You want to have something probably a little big and oversized this season. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, just a standard black um, black sweater, really, really soft layers as long as you, uh, that's, that fits in with the function of your life. Something you can throw on over. Same thing with pants. If, if pants are the biggest part where people actually start feeling like, I am getting sick of what I'm wearing mm. and I need to change everything out. It's because usually that's where we tend to uh, gain a little water weight. Okay. So uh -huh. things start to feel different after the course of a couple of months. Um, but if you have different silhouettes that allow for a little bit of water retention and allow for a little bit of, um, I had a lot of Taco Bell last night or something <laughs> along those Keeping lines. Keeping it real. Then, then, then you, you have different silhouettes. We've got mini skirts. We've got a long skirt, um, different pants. The cigarette pant is also something that is really hmm. big right now. But then also the big flowy bouncy pant. Cool. With Love that. The so there's lots of different options. But, and when you put it together, it, it doesn't really matter if you're purchasing Darling or not. Like, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for making sure that you have the perfect capsule wardrobe that goes into the next season of life you're going in. Yeah. Well, speaking of Darling, yep. you do have a great promo code for any now viewers, BrandyP15, to get 15% off at DarlingSociety.com. Definitely give her a follow on Instagram as well, at Brandy Price Image for all kinds of great fashion and styling tips and resources, and just some great encouragement mm -hmm. as well. Brandy, we love you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Brandy. you so much. Yeah. Amazing yeah. ideas. Thank yeah. you. Love more indie now coming up right after this.